Hello and welcome to the Legend of Grimrock 2. Um, this section here, um, we're actually thinking about um, finishing off the wyverns in this section of the dungeon here. Um, you can you can do that. It's obviously pretty dangerous. Um, but if you can actually fight these wyverns down to virtually the last one, there is quite a reward to be had. Um, basically, this bloke needs restoring. Uh, to stand much of a chance of that. Oh, bloody hell, there's two of them. Uh, right. There's two of them. <laughs> That's quite dangerous. Um, we need some frost bombs, and we've got tons of them. So that is what we would do. We would use a couple of these frost bombs. If you can get it so that you can take out loads of these wyverns, there's quite a prize to be had. Right, so we I think there's one left. If there's one left, Probably in here. Uh, there's a secret door here. So there's the last one. Probably one or two left. But this secret door here, there's a cube key in there, which should be quite handy to have. Oh my god, there's two of them. There's two of the little sods. See, there's the door going up. We might as well finish this one off now. Lucky we've got all these frost bombs. Really lucky. There's a cube key in that secret room there, which is well worth having. There it is, look. Cube key right there, fantastic. Um, so, the rat master can have on this fantastic cloak. There's a few souvenirs to be had. Um, really needs to go to the young lady. Um, the souvenir champion. He takes these. So now that we've um, picked ourselves out on the secret room, we can go up a few skills on this one. Accuracy would be great for the Minotaur because the number of times he misses is just flipping up real. Okay, so Ratmaster is going to go up on what? What's he going to go up on? Blimey, that's a good one, isn't it? Firearms, I suppose. Yeah, firearms, yeah. So really, give him a bit of a sleep at this stage, that's enough. So now we're going to check all the alcoves to see what there is worth having. There is worth that resource potion number one, research number two, arrows. So, yeah, we're going to get the bow in a minute. Um, look at that. So, he can have his crossbow back. And he's got tons of arrows for the bow. And the thing about the bow is, if you go and get it from the castle, it actually activates a special. Activates a special step, which is also activated by the gear keys as well, so you can get it moving in more than one way. Um, what is he up to? He's on skill level three, which is brilliant, really. He's got that axe there. Um, it's absolutely superb weapon here. Look, he's got this thing. Bait. I think that's level 5, but we'll just chuck it in the middle here so that we keep on getting reminded. Um, so we're going up the top here now. Um, one of the missions that uh, really need to go on um, pretty early, get it out of the way, is to clear some of these areas. Um, there's a special uh, step which, if you go up the ladder, is normally missing. So I'll just show it to you. So, oh, it's not there. 
Oh, of course, we didn't do the button, did we? So basically, you can either do the button, which is a blue button, far from here, or you can put a gear key in. You've got a choice. So how many gear keys we got? We've only got one, so we can't use it. We have to hold on to that um, because in the not too distant future, we have got um, things we need to do with that gear key. So. If you've got a gear key, you've got to keep it in hand. So on this occasion, we're not going to use the gear key. It opens that door, obviously, and some um, also energises this step here. So we're going to go round and do it a different way. So there's a blue button just around the corner. There's a blue button just here. Look, this also energises the step but it also gives you the bow. So now we've got the bow, just place it on the ground there, pick it up later. So now that step has been energized. Um, it is really handy if you've got a few of those frost bombs. So it's really tempting to use that gear key. Right, so here's that step, it's now energized. So we're up into the pit and it's a flipping nightmare. It's a nightmare already. Oh, we've got frost bombs, brilliant. Oh, I tell you what, I'm not making a flipping easy level of this. If you're playing this, if you've got frost bombs, absolutely. Yay! He went down the hole. He went down the hole. Right, don't get surrounded by these creatures and don't go down the flipping pits, whatever you do. That dog just went down the flipping pit, brilliant. Um, try not to let them surround you. It's a real mistake. If you kill the creatures, or if you drop them down the pits, it doesn't matter which. But do one or the other, and um, oh look, it's energized. It's energized. We're there. We've done it. As soon as that magic bridge turns up, you've got this to face, and they are wonderful. They are wonderful. But anyway, the first thing you want to do is get these gates up, and all you need is one tomb key to do that, and then you've got access to the defenses. So put the key in. That raises those gates up, and now you can pull all these creatures off and use the defences to take them out. See? All you've got to do is go back on these pressure plates and it'll take these enemies out for you. These are the easy ones. Right, so it's quite easy to handle these defences at the moment. These super enemies are not going to come down. There's a secret button here. You need to press it twice and the super enemies come down. Now you want to get rid of them because one of the teleporters in the swamp puts you right up the top there and you don't want all this lot to contend with. So early on in the castle you want to get rid of all this lot. Now you can do. You just press this button twice. They're all released and they start coming down. You can use the defences against them. But the first thing to do is to sort this lot out. It looks like we've been sorted. So don't fall down the track. Well, it doesn't make that much difference because you can come back, but it is a bit of a pain. <sighs> Bastard! Did you see that? What a nightmare. So basically, it's quite tempting at this stage to go across on that bridge. Uh, but you've got unfinished business, so I wouldn't. That, that comes later. First of all, you've got to take all this lot out. And it's not easy peasy. So at this stage... We go save the game, save the game here, because it's not it's not that flipping easy. So you want to be able to just click a button and come back to this position. So we've done that, right? So you press the button once. That does nothing. That does nothing. You just you know number two is the one that does it. Now they're released. Now they're released. Look here they come. Here they come. 
Oh my god, they're, they're there now, they're coming down. Five people now. That was not a good idea. Actually, I wonder if you can do. Yeah, just do a blue one. Oh, we're all right now. We're all right now. That's superb. Oh yeah, nice one. Nice one. I like it. Oh yeah, that was a good idea. That was a good idea. Oh, we can't freeze these little sods, can you? But I'll tell you what you can do. You can take them down in that trap door. Go on, mateys. Go on, come through on here. Or a nightmare. Come on, come forward. Yay! That was absolutely brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. These things are quite horrendous. Oh, yeah, well, how about that? Cool, we are doing well. We are doing well. Right, this bloke's a bit of a pain, to say the least. Right, get him on there, like that. See, there's no effect. He's got down there! He's got down there! Yay! Oh, I'm loving this. I am loving this. It's such quite a lot of fun, you know? It's pretty good. Go meet your master, you plonker! Come on, you as well. You as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come across here, swine face. Yay! He's gone as well. He's gone as well. It's all great fun, isn't it? Oh, I'll tell you what. If you insist... So what does that leave? Oh, there's a few of these that have got to come down yet. So the best idea now is, I mean, you're about halfway through, but it's not, you know, you can still get surrounded. So the best idea is to say, yay, we are going to save this again. Yeah, done it. Right, he's coming down. Yeah, I'm amazed he hasn't come down, actually. She's coming down, look. Oh look, she's down, she's down. <laughs> what is happening with this bloke up here? It's quite amazing, I don't really get it, they're not coming down. What's happened? That's weird. That is weird. There's two of them. Well, that's okay. I mean, if you end up with this situation with the two of them there, actually, that's pretty lucky, to be honest. That is a good result, because when you get teleported up to the top there, it's just in that top corner where you get teleported, it's just a matter of flipping running down here, but I'm just wondering if they're going to start summoning the old undead. These two are obviously stuck on there, and they're not coming down. Now, that might do us any harm at this stage by the look of it, and they're not summoning any undead. So, when you get teleported up to the top there, you can just drop down and skip past them. No, they're not coming down. That's quite unusual. Right, that's alright, we just leave them to them. That isn't a problem for us not a problem so we go on to the next part of the project which is to basically bring this crab through oh my god they come down how come they came down then i don't get that they took all that time to think about it that's amazing i have never seen that before look at this lot we are in trouble now we are in trouble now Absolute doo doo now. I don't, that is really weird, that was. That was really weird. Come on in, matey. <laughs> Yay! Well, it's going to the plan so far. What other bombs have we got? Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it.
Well, that was pretty easy. How about that? That was pretty easy. Um, I mean, you would need some frost bombs if you had any more of those Medusas around. Wow! That was pretty incredible, I've got to say. Right, so we cleared that lot. I don't know what got them stuck on there. That is a complete mystery to me. And then, the minute we went over to this place, they said, OK, we'll come down now. Oh, this thing. Right, OK. We can use the defences against all these stupid bloody things. It's taking quite a lot of punishment there. That's quite a good way of taking him out. Right, we're going to go onto that centre island now um, and get um, some very interesting artifacts. Um, right, once you're on there, get everything. This is, this is a once. This is a one-only chance. You're only here once, as far as I know. I don't think you can do it again. So grab everything you can, everything on here has to go. I know there's quite a few enemies around, but just try and get everything you can. Everything you can, because you ain't coming back. This is a once, this is a one chance thing. Uh, if you think you've got everything. Yeah, um, we've got the red gem. What's this thing? Oh my god, that's brilliant. Right, just go, just go. Right, okay, it doesn't matter what it is. I mean, bloody hell, that's brilliant. What is she on? What is she on? Oh no, she's not qualified to use that thing yet. Um, okay. Bloody hell, how about that? Oh my god. green blobs is that they are susceptible to the old they are susceptible to the old um, poison cloud thing and we've got a poison cloud in the fence so I'll tell you that is gorgeous that is gorgeous um, where's that green glob Oh, he's gone on there himself, look! He's gone on there, he's, he's taking punishment anyway! Haha, <laughs> that is brilliant! Right, get him to go back on there. Even if it means... Look, now he's... Now, this is the thing. He went on there out of choice. I love all that. Oh, well, I can get out of the way if you can. Um, but you do get some food out of it on the occasions. No. Oh. So, what else is there? Um, could probably have a bit of a sleep. Let's see if there's any more of these green things. There's another green one there, look. Mm. So, that is brilliant because now I just show you why that is so important. Because now we can use that teleporter, and before, if you tried to use that teleporter, it'd be an absolute flipping massacre. Really, you'd be, you'd be really have to know what you were doing. It'd be like advanced dungeoneering, right? So now we end up in this place, Spider World. There's a teleporter that goes to the top of that place. So just pick something you don't need. Um, this thing probably put it on there and now we're at the top there and there's lots of stuff to get um, we're at the top here where this place was jammed remember with super creatures so now we're up the top here if we hadn't assorted that out we'd be now in amongst all that lot and it'd be just we'd be dead we'd be dead you can't go through into there yet doesn't matter there's no way to unlock that yet so basically, we're up the top here. Um, this is where those two skeleton commanders were stuck, by the look of it, although they weren't. And now we're just... See? We just went up there and got all that stuff which we needed. 
because we need a blue gem, a red gem and a green gem. I don't know if we've already got the green one. Yeah! See? You need three of them to get through um, a certain door. Talking of getting through a certain door, we do happen to have two, two keys. So as soon as you put in the two keys, you can actually run these defences um, and they're now going into that room there, which is a bloody good idea. Because there are tons of dogs in there. <laughs> look at them all. They're coming out now, look. Come on then, sunshine. Oh, oh that's a bit, uh, a bit reckless, that one. Get them to, get them to come out. Uh, try not to jump into that water there if you can avoid it. It gets more and more bloody dangerous going in there. Um, there are two exit points, you know. go into that water there. If you do, there are, down the end here, in that water there, there are a couple of emergency exits with levers, but um, it can get clogged up with flipping undead that have fallen in there, believe it or not, from... try and take care of this whole flipping situation as early in the castle as you can do it because then you also end up coming out of there later on in the game as well and if there's all those super enemies at the top there you have made a definite misjudgment <laughs> because you could have sorted it out earlier so don't leave this area to the last or anything like it get this out of the way um, so now we go on to another area of the game, all sorts of stuff to, to use, uh, this is a much better cape than that, for some people, yeah look, they've all got brilliant capes, the whole flipping lot of them, that is so good. Oh my god, there's a few dogs left, that's crazy, after all that. So now you can no longer go over to that next island there, you used up your chance and if you didn't grab all the stuff, as far as I know, that's it, you don't get another chance. We have pretty much cleared out this place. What does this necklace do? Health plus 50 sounds fantastic. Right, 
Right, sleepy buys time. We all oh, need food. Yeah, they got plenty of these, well, aren't they? Where are we going to now? We go through this place. Oh crikey, we better have an ornate key. Other, well, if you haven't got an ornate key, turn round and go back out here. You're okay. As it happens, I'm pretty sure we do have one. Um, in fact, there it is there, look. Ah! Oh, I love this place. This is great. Look at this. A scope straight away, look. Got guardians down there. But you must have a skull key as well. Luckily, we have got one. Skull key and open that up. Get that. Tormented souls out of the balcony. Just press that button, they will come out. Grab a fish. And you are okay. You're fine. That's all we're going to do for this session. Thank you for accompanying me. Thank you all. See you later.